Hi there and welcome back or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Amy and I have a somewhat unhealthy obsession with Formula One. In today's episode, we're, we're in Melbourne. Well, we're not right now, but we were in Melbourne. We love Formula One that much that we spent thousands of dollars, probably, in the end to fly down there and watch them drive in circles. Yay! I think it was like the best weekend of my life. Um, so I'm just really jumping in occasionally with a little bit of a voiceover moment of explaining what is going on because again, I'm not too great at this. We, we flew down to Melbourne on the Wednesday before the race. A lot of fun. Um, flight was delayed by two hours. I, I get into it. It is currently Tuesday, aka the day before I go to Melbourne. Um, I am on my internship right now, but they're not coming to work again. So I started to pack. Um, Hence that pile on there. As we are all well aware now, me overpacker, Amy equals overpacker, okay? It's kind of my personality, right? I already brought extra baggage for this flight, um, but we move, it is totally fine. Also, do you guys like my lashes? Sorry, this is a real tangent, but like, like my lashes? Um, I did them myself. It feels kind of weird, it looks kind of whack, but like, I kind of like it. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yes, packing, 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 packing. Um, Mildly stressed, 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 stressed. Um, I had a lot to do. And again, overpacker. So, I am gonna stop packing my clothes. So I'm taking a suitcase and then also like, um, my overnight like gym bag as well. Um, that's the plan at least. I could take two suitcases if I wanted to, but I, I, that, that would be really bad. I'm wondering all my hats. I'm taking four. I don't even wear hats. Anyway, we move. It is, it is totally fine. It is. So, totally fine. Okay, um, I'm gonna start packing my clothes and then I'll get back to you guys once I've done that. So then I can start thinking of all the other stuff that I need to pack. Because there's a lot. There's a lot to do. Okay guys, so as you can tell, it's much later in the day. Um, doing really much interesting. Just in turn, went to the gym, showered. Um, I'm all packed. Success. Only had to sacrifice one pair of shoes, a towel, a jumper, and a t-shirt. And that was it. That's all I had to sacrifice. Um, is my carry on three kilos over the weight limit? That is a secret I will never tell. Um, so hopefully they just don't wait. Like they never wear carry ons, so I don't know why they would wait this time. But we're, we're hoping and praying. Because if they do, mm, really pops, I'm screwed. I'm actually screwed. Like, how how is there like ten kilos in that tiny gym bag? I have no clue. But apparently there is. So we move. Anyway, I'm gonna hit the hay for the night. Wake up bright and early tomorrow to fly down to Melbourne, which is incredibly really exciting. So exciting. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Hello there. Um, we made it. We're in, we're in Melbourne. Welcome to the fabulous hostel room. It's been for tonight. Um, so if you hear other people talking in the background, it's not just your voices, it's actual other human beings. I do have a private room though, which is quite nice. Um, it's only for one night again. We move to the actual place tomorrow. But yeah, basically, it has been even going. Um, my flight, she was delayed by like two hours, so I was meant to get here at about two. It is now 3.30. And I hustled to get here from the airport. Like, I literally, I landed an hour ago, and I'm here, um, which is brilliant. Anyway, besides that, um, that's all totally fine because um, we met an F1 driver. Before we even got to the state that they're in, we met one. We met Mika Hulkenberg, he's me looking awkward and not knowing how to act. Also, the only thing that was going through my head at this moment was this. Mika Hulkenberg! And that was it. That was it. Anyway. So it's kind of thrown a spanner in the box for my plans for the day because I'm just going to go to the Williams fan zone that closes at like 7 so we feel like it's still three and a half hours away but I haven't had lunch yet I am starving, okay? I'm so hungry, all about to eat today like overnight wheat fix and like one of those like tiny bags of M&M's that are like that big I'm so hungry so here's, here's the plan A, good change because this is it's comfortable, but like it's not serving I guess I accidentally run to an F1 driver again. I'm just saying. Um B, we're gonna go find 
the kitchen, the, the cooking facilities in this place and see what we can do. And then see, we're gonna go walk back to where we just came from to get food. And then, yeah, I'm gonna make a sandwich for lunch, probably for lunch tomorrow as well because I'm gonna go to Williams and today I'm gonna go tomorrow. So like that's just gonna be hectic today of being out all day. So once more, why should I stay in? Um, I might take a little walk around after that, check out the city, see what the vibes are at because like already I'm seeing all like the hints of earth one everywhere and I'm kind of loving it. What else? What else do I have to do? But yeah, um, then after that I have to film a video. I haven't filmed my Australian preview video yet so we're gonna do that here. Um, yay! That's the plan. And then eat dinner and then probably edit that video and chill for the rest of the day. That's the plan, that's the lives we're vibing with. Are you vibing with that? Tough shit because I'm vibing with that. So let's go, let's go, let's get a shit into action. I'm so excited in case you're in town. I'm so excited, so excited to be here. I have not been to a Grand Prix since Monza two weeks ago. Yeah, I haven't been to the Australian Grand Prix in two years. It's probably changed. It's probably changed since I was last year. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. If it changed, if it changed, is it too early to be busting out the Red Bull jacket this early on the trip? Maybe. But also, like, she's iconic and I can wear her the whole weekend and no one's gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna say nothing, okay? Is this angle positively horrendous? Absolutely, I'll just gonna deal with it, yeah. Um, got back, toss one and two of those lists are complete. Um, so, I said it's not my favorite sandwich actually. Um, I, I went and bought one chicken and mayo. I'm not really saying I don't actually like mayo, but that's fine. I'm starving since 4 30. Of course, Red Bull, one protein bar in my bag as well, so I'll probably eat that for a little, little dessert moment. Um, but yeah. It's weird staying in hostel again. I was so used to when I traveled in Europe, but now it's kind of like, ooh, high people, there's people everywhere, um, and it's fine. But yeah. I um, also realized one of my kind of kind of friends on TikTok, she was on the same flight as me um, today. Didn't like I, I saw her and I was like, hmm, oh, smile a little bit, but I didn't know she knew who I was, but like I knew who she was. Um, so I did just I did a comment on a video which I'm playing about a flight being too out was delayed and I was like, hey, I think we're on the same flight bestie. Um hopefully she doesn't take them in the weird way. Molly, if you're watching this, I I'm gonna shoot it take them in the weird way. Um I just want friends. I take them they you're cooler. We have matching red bull jackets. I want both from Sydney kind of way. Um anyway, shall we give this a little taste test? This looks so devoid of colour in life. Like me. And yeah, she'll do nicely, she'll have the spot. Um, yeah, but they have more coffee today, so I am so tired, hence the Red Bull. I am trying to cut down on my caffeine and take those, so only two a day. So, I'm on my two limit, technically. Technically. Um, I'm gonna quickly scram the sandwich and then get on to filming a video that you guys have already seen by the time this one comes out. I should hope so at least, because it's meant to be an Australian preview, but if that comes out after the race, that's a little uh, good, good work, Amy. Yeah, anyway, it's like 4 30, so not much of the day left, really. I basically have spent most of the evening filming and editing that OSGP preview video, and now it's time to get done now. It's like 7 30. Um, I'm looking forward to this. No, mainly because I don't want to interact with people. Um, but it is a microwave meal, so hopefully, it won't take too long to like do, and hopefully, it's not too busy in the kitchen and dining area because. Again, I don't want to talk to people. I'm sorry about it. Again, it's hostile. I fully get that and I accept that. I accept my fate, but I just don't want to talk to people. So, wish me luck. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, I don't know who last week caught up was, but last night was chill. Had dinner. I should have any video. Oh, which reminds me, I should post that video now. Thank you for reminding me, Amy. You are so welcome, Amy. Anyway, here's today's fit check. I was going to buy the regular corset, but I decided I wanted to save it for later in the week. We're all packed up and ready to go. It's like 8.50 in the morning. 
yeah, I can only pull me out here by nine, so I'm gonna drop my bags off the new place and then go try and get checked to it. Um, basically, what I've done is I've never been able to sign, but I just went to like Cat Rides print a little photo of him. Um, this is gonna be him. And I really forgot the drivers as well, so that is actually so so cute. Um, so cute, but we're gonna do that. Um, yeah, that's a bit, I'm a bit flustered, a bit hectic. Had breakfast. I see hostel breakfast. Um, yeah, I would be out for like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna not really leave you because I'm gonna take off the film um, <laughs> before I leave. And then, yeah, we will head off for the day. So on the Thursday, we did in fact get to meet Jack Dewan, which was incredibly exciting. Spoke for a bit, then I got him to sign a few things, including a little pot lord that I really love, which is quite cute. I then also met Mick Dewan, which was actually quite iconic. Um, nobody was going up to him and I was just like, oh my god guys, that's Mick Dewan over there. We should we should go get a photo of Mick Dewan, and we did. So yeah, and then I went to the track with two lovely girls that I met that day literally standing in line and I spent the day with one of them just going around and doing all the fun little brand activations throughout the circuit before we had you know proper racing on track um got some free makeup from Mecca a little fun silly goofy hydrolyte cocktail type of thing um and of course there's a giant cup of noodles I'm just like fishing and find noodles I just wanted dinner for the next two days so I tried real hard at that one and for some reason there was also a giant guess who with all the F1 drivers which was actually quite fun. It was then time for the F2 talk. Ollie Berman was meant to be there so some people were a bit disappointed that he wasn't there but I in fact was not disappointed because Dennis Hager was there and Dennis Hager is my absolute favourite F2 driver and he wasn't meant to be there so he was there and I was so 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 happy. Then I went and checked out the Porsche cars in the paddock. I love going to the paddock at races, I'm um, just going to be so close to the cars. We used to be able to go into the supercars paddock at the LSGP, but it's gotten a bit big now, especially with F2 and F3. You can't really go into the supercars paddock anymore. And there's also a wild Gunther Steiner sighting. He was doing some work for Channel 10 this weekend, um, so it was a bit funny just to see him roaming. Okay, guys, so we just checked into our hotel after a lovely day at the Grand Prix. Look at this. So much room for activities. Um, anyway, it is now like almost 6 o'clock. I have to go to a fancy dinner in an hour. So I'm speed getting ready and I just got back from the shops and I sped through the shops in like 15 minutes. Um, I am very much exhausted at my feet hot. I don't know why I'm walking around when I could be lying down, but I am stressed. <laughs> okay y'all, um, final fit, final fit. Um, um, makeup all done looking looking less potato like essentially is what's going on here. Um, I would update you as to how my day went, but um, I am running late so um i gotta i gotta go um tz what oh am i nervous it's gonna be great it's gonna be so great but i'm such yeah this was the most cutest night ever we exchanged french bracelets well i got french bracelets because i didn't bring any and the pizza was delicious this was just at the crown with some good morning y'all um i'm gonna let the tv it's on in the background just so i don't feel lonely um it's late I had such a good time at the dinner last night. I'll show you my friendship bracelets when I get ready, but I got friendship bracelets. It was like Taylor Swift concert. I don't know Swift do you? Like I don't, I don't engage in that community whatsoever. But I was like, this is so wholesome. I had breakfast. Um, my oats almost just boiled over in the microwave. I was finding like oats and instant coffee. For real breakfast of champions. Um, freaking by myself on that. Anyway, um. Okay guys, apologies for the hard lighting, but um, this is going to have to do it because I'm going to have to talk as I finish getting ready because I'm running like this part. This seems to be like a really common theme. Um, I think I'm bring my camera in today because I didn't even use it yesterday. Um, actually, I will bring it because I'm actually in my brand's fan today, so I'll have to remember to take videos. This is what is happening here. Um, I brought from yesterday what I actually kind of need to bring and what I kind of don't actually need whatsoever, so I should hopefully cut down on the amount I had to take in yesterday because, like, I was struggling with the amount of shit I was carrying. Like, it was no key embarrassing. I was like, struggle straight right now. But it doesn't mean, like, there were certain things that are probably not a necessity, but I'm bringing them just in case because, um, I don't know who you might bump into, is what I'm saying. 
my attitude this whole time. I'm like, hey, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know why, but just be over the panic. The panic, the, the, the GA. Fucking help me getting into like, the panic pass. Uh, hindsight, hindsight is quite fun. I'm just going so good at manifesting things. Um, I'm just so good at it now. No, so I'm not having it anytime soon. Manifesting it though, I think the manifesting abilities have been really good lately. Like, actually insanely good. So, you know, who knows? There's a lot of the editing sound. Hey, this is Friday. I started off with watching Supercars guys talk. Brock Feeney was there. Again, my favourite Supercars driver, so I was happy. And then went to one of the fan forum stages, which is one of my highlights of the Australian Grand Prix, really. Um, this one, it was the RB boys and the Williams boys. So Daniel was there, so obviously the crowd went off. Arbon was on one that weekend, clearly. Um, he threw a cupcake at someone's face. And then at the Aston Martin boys, they were very chill. And then it was followed by Honorary Australian in Valtteri Bottas and Grand Joe for a mullet judging competition. Iconic. And this was the crowd on a Friday, guys. Like, it wasn't even a Saturday or Sunday. Like, this is a Sunday crowd on a Friday. Absolutely wild. Then it was time for F1 cars on track, finally. And again, there's no better view than this in the entire world. I, I loved it. I loved it so much. This is me finding out that I was going in the Red Bull garage. I explained it a bit later in the video, but like, um, this was kind of wild. It didn't really take many videos. I was just trying to, you know, live in the moment or whatever. Um, I'm extremely grateful that I went in there, even though Max's car did kind of, um, die later that week. Anyway, it's fine, it's fine. I got- it was- actually, I can't even, like, comprehend it still that I was just stood right there. And I had a little VIP line here, which was quite iconic, and here's them explaining the wheel to me. I'm like, I know what this wheel does. I know all buttons. Trust. I know. Um, and then F3 was red flagged, so they came in, and they were just, like, right there. So I was like, oh my god, the F3 guys are, like, right there. Like, the, the like during a the session they're right there anyway actually insane i fully can't comprehend it and i'm so 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 grateful for that experience and people like that's the once in a lifetime thing i'm like no it's not trust i'll be back the next year i am i am and that's where i'm meant to be i'm meant to be there anyway um uh, uh the the supercars were were next they were supercars is one of my favorite motorsport categories ever again um i the ones at fia girls on track talk because Again, motorsport is where I want to work, so I was like, I'm going to find out some more info, you know? Then it was time for more cars on track. faced the dreaded tram on the way home oh my god it wasn't actually too bad like i spoke to people online people knew where i, I knew where i was from tiktok which was kind of wild but you know okay y'all um i didn't vlog today but guess who had the most insane like actually insane day me it's me i had the most actually fucking insane day guess who was in the red bull garage How I swindled my way in there, that is a secret I'll never tell. I do just know somebody who works for Red Bull, and she was like, I'm gonna try and get you in there, and she got me in there. How insane is that? Um, the highlight of the day, obviously, um, F1 cars were in fact on track, but I, my brain was like, I'm gonna be in the Red Bull garage, and then afterwards it was like, you were just in the Red Bull garage. Like, that car you see, you were like that far away from it. Okay, what even is my life? What is my life? What is my life? For real though, um, I'm being I'm being really bad at this whole vlogging thing, but like, it's it's a long, busy day at the track, and um, I don't like whipping my camera out every five seconds. So it, like, I do films on my phone. Um, anyway, um, as you can tell, I did get slightly sunburned again today. It wasn't as bad as yesterday, so um, hopefully I just keep learning every day and then I'm just less and less sunburned. Anyway, I am gonna go to bed. That's what's happening right now, because it's like 9.30 and I am tired. Like, the long days. I'm praying, it's not for the faint of heart, I'm telling you. I'm dehydrated, okay? I sprinted across the entirety of Alba Park to get to the Red Bull garage, okay? Like, I've had a day. 
today actually let's take a look at my steps i don't think it's gonna be as bad as yesterday yesterday i walked a lot because i went to the casino like twice as well yeah another twelve thousand steps yesterday was really like twenty thousand, so it wasn't as bad as yesterday but my feet are hurting i have like a 20 minute long shower with like boiling hot water just like feel something again because i was like to get like a layer of dart and muck and fumes right i had the noodles i won yesterday for dinner but i'm sorry for dinner either so that is like such a slay um here i went out of bed wake up early in the morning um do it all again do it all again so like friday y'all i saw two more days at the track so two more days okay okay i'm gonna go now then we move on to saturday which was quality day again face the dreaded trams before getting there nice and early for the first supercars race Getting one of the first people in the stands i was always one of the last to leave as well you know that's just how i roll didn't really go to melbourne more this year because it was packed so i was just there early for the racing and of course the fan forum stage like look how insanely crowded this is all of course for the ferrari boys which you know it makes sense That wasn't really why I was here. I was here for the Red Bull guys, you know, Max, Max and Sheko, my favorites. Um, well, Max is anyway. Um, they had a little fun grill the grid type of quiz, but that's about unlike the most likely to do stuff on the grid. So it's most likely to move to Australia. Who's most likely to do whatever? Who has the best comedy? Australia. <laughs> I thought you already moved. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> And then, yeah, it was time for F3. This is probably the most action we saw at our corner the whole weekend. We thought it would be kind of chaotic, like last year outside of like, the first corner. So we thought it would be cool, but it wasn't. Um, and that, that's about it in terms of crazy action that happened at the first corner. But yeah, I absolutely love F3 and F2 as well. There's, it's just, they're so much closer in terms of racing. And obviously the guys haven't actually fully made it in most way yet, so they're all trying the hardest just to do it, and it's great, it's great. And Dennis Halga was on the podium, so I was a very happy girly. Then they came up and then we're like kind of low-key fixing our grandstand as we were sat in it, which was quite terrifying because I was right at the back. Anyway, we move, we move. Then it was time for quality, I think this is. Yeah, no, it was time for quality, and of course, Maxi put it on pole. Um, again, nothing better than an F1 car just going for it, absolutely gunning it around that first corner. Like, how beautiful, gorgeous is that with the skyline in the background? Oh, name a better view. I will wait. Again, more supercars, and then. They went and I met up with a friend to go watch the Porsche races. Um, he's kind of obsessed with it, you know. Um, he didn't have grandson tickets, so I just had to go find him. Not normally my cup of tea, but it was pretty fun anyway. And we went and saw Jet afterwards before a fabulous night out. Um, I don't have any clips. I have, I have a few clips of the night out, but um, I'm not going to put them in here. I'm just not because that's not this kind of vlog, okay? Finally, it was a Sunday, Sunday race day. Again, I got to the track nice, nice and early, um, and then I was just chilling, I watched the F3, and then I went and got a little snack. Now these, I'm just going to see an image of in a sec, these were beautiful, these were delicious Biscoff donut things. I don't even know what they were, I had them twice. Delicious, delicious, expensive, but delicious. It was time for the F2 feature race, and um, Dennis was leading, he slayed into the first corner, and then he got overtaken by Antonelli, and then he was re-overtaken. He was back in the lead and then um, he crashed out and here's me not being happy about it. Anyway, I had a little photo shoot afterwards. This is my outfit for the day. I thought it was quite cute. I love the Red Bull Call set. I made it, so I love it, you know. Then it was the driver's parade and for personal reasons, no audio will be playing during this time. No needs to hear the screaming of me or the golly pops around me. Out of respect to them and myself. Okay, okay, moving swiftly along. Also, they should definitely bring back the little cars for the not like the massive trucks. Anyway, we move. 
I was trying to do in demonstration laps, which was like one of the highlights of the weekend really. It's quite iconic. And the sounds, the sounds, especially when he had the, no, the 2002 Benetton. The 2002 Benetton, mm, beautiful V10 engine. Oh, fabulous, fabulous. Bring it back, please. Thank you. Then we had a little flyover before the start of the race. Again, the drivers were all well behaved into turn one. that ensued um this is the clip of everybody cheering when color science wins the lead this is everybody sharing when max verstappen broke down I will say on the issue okay at two of the three races that I've been to in my life Max was seven steen aft I'm saying I'm just saying Obviously, it was a Ferrari 1-2 with Carlos Sainz winning the race, and then Lando in third and Oscar in fourth, so that was a bit of a slave for McLaren and Ferrari. Other than that, that I called it a night. I went home after another photo shoot, of course, because it's me, and I along the trams, because it's Melbourne. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is now Monday, the day after the race. I don't think I caught up with you, like, after Quali on Saturday, or yesterday either. My legs yesterday, I was so dead, I collapsed into that bed right there, um, ate a microwave meal, and, and, and watched YouTube. Um, I didn't go out last night, I wanted to go out, um, but like, I was dead. On Saturday night, I did go out, not too hard, um, Jet was playing, um, after the Australian Grand Prix, so I went there, down like five beers in the space of an hour, so I was like, this was out, this was like 20 minutes, I was just like, um, but it was a good time. I met up with a friend. We hung out, and then we were like, "Hey, let's go out." Um, so we headed. We we left the circuit, and um, there was like a bar right outside. And he was like, "I'm just having this little simulator at this bar." So we were there for like probably an hour, and then we were going to go out in the city. But then we decided not to. So here we are. Um, I didn't. I lived to the class in his bed again that night. Ate my two minute noodles. I went to bed, um, and then I was hungover <laughs> for the race this morning. Actually, I wasn't even hungover. I was just tired. I was just tired, and I woke up late. And I was like, I have to get to the track. I have to get to the track. So I had zero time to do anything yesterday morning. Anyway, we are here. Um, I'm gonna go explore Melbourne for a bit because I love Melbourne. Melbourne's one of my favorite cities. I'm a Sydney girl, but like, I I prefer Melbourne. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Gonna go do a little bit of exploring. Then I've got a few videos I need to film and then I will catch you guys up on what has been going on when I get back um, Because yeah, I've been like rotting in bed for the past like three hours. I'm like I should I should get out I'm here. I should get out. So I'm gonna go track down a croissant Loon croissants. They were the person who owns it is an ex F1 like engineer. She's really cool um, and she made like a little special F1 croissant for the Grand Prix. Um, I don't think they have it at this location, but even if they don't, I'm still gonna get a croissant because I love croissants. And hunt down that croissant I did. I waited 30 minutes in line for this thing. Was it worth it? You tell me. And look at how beautiful she looks and she tastes delicious. And I'm a connoisseur of almond croissants and that was a delicious one. Okay, y'all, so we had a fairly chill day, all things considered. Um, just, uh, I did I did have that croissant. The croissant was delicious, if I do say so myself. And yeah, I just finished filming the little race recap that's going up tomorrow. It was meant to go up today, but that's not gonna happen because the Wi-Fi here is, is not great, but that's okay. Um, 
Now I need to pack up the absolute mess that I just have left everywhere. I'm like halfway through packing. Um, this is me procrastinating actually, but also hopefully filming a little update video for y'all. Um, anyway, I am back home now, obviously. It's been a few days. Um, was I overweight when I got to the airport? Yeah. Did I somehow finesse my way through security so I didn't have to pay any extra? Yeah. Just, just girly cop things, really. I had the absolute best time. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, leave it in the comments down below. Um, again, that Red Bull garage thing, I can't quite comprehend it. Um, I just wanted to go Red Bull, so the fact that she was able to like weasel me in there was quite iconic. She's also the one who got me that poster for my birthday and a signed down Ricardo hat. So like, bless her, bless her, absolutely. Like, honestly, insane, insane scenes. Like, how did that happen? Once again, I'm going to vlog my TikTok because all of the fun, I was really prioritizing TikTok this week, so all of the fun content is over on there. Um, you want more content from that weekend? Go over there. What are you doing? Any photos? You want more photos of my outfits? Instagram. This one. Go go check her out. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a little vlog moment. I don't normally vlog. I'm trying to vlog more because it's quite fun. I'm thinking of doing it again this weekend. Um, for Japan, even though I'm obviously not in Japan, but like, you know what I mean. Like my live race reaction, and actually filming my race reaction, so I'll be at home. Let me know what you think. Anyway, um, that brings this video to a wrap. If you liked it, then like it, and press the red button to subscribe for more F1 and motorsport related content. And I'll see you all in the next one. Ladies!